We're camping at Natural Falls State Park in Colkert, Oklahoma. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Well, today is the first stop on our 2024 summer trip. Guys, I'm super excited about this trip. We're going all the way from our home in Tampa, Florida, all the way out to the Pacific Northwest, past Seattle to Olympic National Park, and then back. So we are making a lot of stops on the way, and our first stop here is Natural Falls State Park. And guys, I'm super excited about this because I have been sitting at 42 states visited for a long time, and I finally, finally, finally hit state 43. Oklahoma is my state 43. I've been all around Oklahoma, but I've never stepped foot in it until yesterday when we arrived. So I'm super excited to not only pick up another state, but to camp in it as well, because I also have a goal to camp in all 50 states. So I'm working on that. But guys, this place is beautiful. What an awesome little park. Now it's not a very big park. And the main feature is a waterfall, which we're gonna go see in a little bit but the campground is really nice. It's really well maintained. And guys, when we left our house, it was 97 degrees. It is like in the 60s right now. I mean, it's early morning, but it is beautiful. And it's not supposed to get too hot today. We might get a little rain this afternoon, but that's okay. We're gonna go see the waterfall this morning and probably do a little bit of work in the afternoon because when we're on a trip this long, we can't just take off the whole time. We do have to do a little bit of work while we're, while we're roaming. So we're gonna test out our new Starlink. We've got all kinds of stuff that we're doing that's new on this trip. So I'm super excited. But with that, guys, let me give you just a little tour of our campsite. We're at campsite 22 and then we'll go on and go see the waterfall and see what other shenanigans we can get into in this video. Stay tuned. So we are the very last site in this campground. So there's the entrance into the campground. They have a nice big disc golf field if you're into disc golf. And there's the restroom up there, the comfort center shower house. And then check out this beautiful campground. It is really, really nice. Nice wide open uh, sites. There's not a lot of vegetation, so you're going to see your neighbors, but you've got a lot of space in between them. Of course, there's the Kemp bus. And check out this cardinal. This female cardinal has been flitting around the van. I think she sees her reflection and she's not happy about it. So we've been enjoying watching her. She's pretty funny. She just keeps hanging out down to the mirror and back. She might be like my wife, she likes her reflection. But anyway, so here's our campsite. We're gonna go ahead and walk in. This has got a fire pit, some great trees for hanging a hammock. We might do that later today. It's got a hook to hang a lantern, actually a couple lanterns or other gear. Charcoal grill. It's got a concrete picnic table that's built into the concrete slab, so you can't move it, but that's okay. We've got Delaney set up in our Eureka Tetragon 3, and right now Barb and I are staying in the cargo camper. We just did a bed build on the cargo camper. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link uh, up in the left-hand corner there, or the right-hand corner, I should say, and where you can check out the uh, bed build we did on the E-Track. And then this site is paved. It looks like the driveways are paved, I think, in all the sites, but I'll, do, I'll check that out when I do my campground review video. And then we've got our camp kitchen set up. And Stu from the Little House of Beans, if you're watching, look what I finally pulled out. Stu recommended this camp stove to me, guys. It's a Camp Chef Everest. And I think it's no longer uh, current on the Camp Chef website, but you can still get it off Amazon. And I love that camp stove. But anyway, there's my old Coleman stove that I use most of the time. Barb left her cereal out. But Stu recommended that camp stove to me, and I gotta say, it is a fantastic camp stove. So shout out to Little House of Beans on YouTube. You should check them out. But there we go, guys. There's a look at Site 22. So as we leave our campsite, right there behind me is the trail to the waterfall. So we don't have to even drive. We can hike to the waterfall right from the campground. Pretty sweet. Let's go.
wonder if there are bears on this bear trail. Delaney found a spot to tie his shoes. It's the top of the falls. And there's Delaney. Natural Falls was certainly beautiful and it didn't disappoint. One thing I know for sure, time in a hammock is never time wasted. Check out the view of this sky. Looking up through the trees. Beautiful view of the park. What an amazing day. Well guys, we've had a fantastic day here at Natural Falls State Park. Tomorrow we head on to Lake Scott State Park in Kansas. We're gonna finish up with some dinner and then maybe get cleaned up, maybe do some initial packing so rollout can be quick in the morning. But let me show you what we're cooking for dinner because I'm pretty excited about it. This is one of my favorite things to make when camping. For starters, guys, we've got pork chops on the 
Lodge griddle. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I use this stuff, guys, which is the Weber roasted garlic and herb seasoning for pork chops. It's awesome. And then, of course, one of my other camping favorites with pork chops comes stuffing. Oh, yeah. That's hot. I love pork chops and stuffing. Well, guys, I think that's going to be a wrap for our camping trip to Natural Falls State Park. And guys, we had an awesome day, but I would say that one day is plenty here. This is not a big state park, right? So there are some great little hiking trails. Going to see the falls is good. If you are into disc golf, there's a really nice disc golf course but you can pretty much see and do the entire park in a half day. So this is the kind of thing that uh, if you can roll in early, you can see the park and roll out the next day, or if you roll in late and you can see the park in the morning and then roll out in the afternoon, you could do that, or you can do it as we're doing it, where you roll in, you spend a full day here, spend another night and then roll out the next morning. So our next stop is Lake Scott State Park in Kansas. So we are heading out to the Pacific Northwest, but it's a long drive. And so we're stopping at a couple places along the way that we've just never been before. And so this is my first time in Oklahoma. I like Oklahoma, it's pretty cool. I have to check out more of the state. I know I'm really close to Arkansas and so uh, this part of Oklahoma isn't indicative of the rest of the state, but we are going to drive uh, through a lot of Oklahoma on the way to Kansas. So I'm looking forward to just seeing it and spending some time here. I'm really looking forward to Lake Scott State Park as well. Uh, my son Delaney is really excited about the fishing. I'm excited about the Badlands that are close to there. So we're going to be doing another video there. So. If you like this video, guys, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe and that bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos so you won't miss the video from Lake Scott. Also, guys, I've got a campground review uh, coming for this video. So if you haven't seen that, uh, when it gets released, it'll be right up here so you can check that out. And guys, I am super excited for this trip. So we're gonna be bringing you a whole lot more content. So please, please, please follow along and I know that by the time you see this, it's going to be a lot later, but I'm still waiting at this point in time to give away our Omnia oven. So funny story, uh, I got a text last night or a Facebook message uh, two nights ago from someone who said, hey, I just saw you on Interstate 22 in Mississippi around 9.30 uh, last night. Did you give away your Omnia oven yet? <laughs> <laughs> and I laughed really loud because I was like, did I say I had to meet him in person? So I actually sent him a message back and said, hey, I should have said if I didn't that you have to be in person to win. But since I didn't, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Shoot me your address and I'll mail you an Omni oven. And he said, actually, no, it was, it was fine. He said that he said the, he wanted to honor the had to be in person to win. But um, it's just so cool when anybody sees me, you know, running down the road. And it's not like we have a. A, uh, a trailer that doesn't stand out, guys. I mean, the cargo camper is pretty unique. And of course, there aren't too many Nissan NVs on the road. You put the two together and we're a pretty unique rig rolling down the road with a giant Camp Outside logo on the back. So it's not hard to, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy to miss us, but still it's always cool when someone sees us and, and uh, my son thinks that's the coolest thing ever. So. Whenever you guys see us and notify us, it, it makes our day. So please let us know. And if you do ever run into us, guys, seriously, if you ever run into us, I try to always have Camp Outside stickers on me. I uh, would love to give you a sticker. Uh, and other times, guys, I even carry some other giveaway stuff that, that I get from folks. So I've got, uh, sometimes I've got hats and shirts, and sometimes I've got products from companies and things to, to just give away to people who see us. And I love doing that, so that's a lot of fun. So. Uh, be sure to stop by and say hi uh, if you uh, do run into us or ever see us. And guys, I just want to, you know, thank you for watching. Uh, these trip vlogs are a lot of fun for me to make because I get to go cool places. And so that's exciting, especially because we've been producing a lot of videos lately that have been gear reviews and, and, and stuff like that, which is great. I mean, that's that's all good stuff, too. But uh, my trips are, are really 
uh, where this stuff comes alive for me. So Barb's in the hammock right now. We've been testing out the Starlink. We've been working. We've been chasing waterfalls. We've been driving a lot. Got about 7,000 miles to go on this trip at least. And we're going to be bringing you a whole lot more content from a whole lot of really cool places. So, guys, thanks for watching. Guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. We exist to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. So if you have any questions about camping at Natural Falls State Park, drop some in the comments below. Or if you've been here before, tell us what you thought of it. Did you like it? You know, did you stay here long? You know, what do you think is a good length of stay if you've been here before would love to hear all about that guys be sure to follow us on our other social media uh, because that is where you can follow us in real time obviously I don't produce a lot of these videos until I get home from my trip so they come out later than than uh, when I actually shot them so if you want to follow us in real time follow us in, uh, following us on Facebook and Instagram is the best way and then we're also on LinkedIn and X so Follow us on the social media platform of your choice. And of course, if you ever see us rolling down the road, snap a photo of us and tag us at hashtag Kemp Outside. I'd love that. That would be awesome. So guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next stop. Take care.